Hi there, I'm Howard Marks. I'm the co-chairman and co-founder of Oak Tree Capital Management, which is an alternative management firm dedicated primarily to credit pro products. I've been in the investment management business since 1969. And uh, uh, I'm pleased to be uh, on this call with uh, Joel Greenblatt. Uh, Joel is uh, one of the world's leading value investors. And we'll talk later about what that means. Uh, I've known Joel for about 30 years and have greatly enjoyed uh, working with him. It's a real pleasure to be on with him today. Well, Howard, thank you very much. Uh, I'm one of your biggest fans. Uh, I know you have a lot, but I'm one of the biggest. And it's a real pleasure to be here today. Uh, I am the uh, co-CIO at Gotham Asset Management, uh, founded Gotham Capital in 1985, started in the business 1981. So uh, seen a lot and uh, looking forward to talking to Howard about it. Well, Howard, uh, I guess the first question out of the gate, a lot of people would like to know, are we in a bubble of some sort? We are definitely in a time of optimism. And I think that that optimism is largely what I call man-made, uh, uh, relating or stemming primarily from the actions of the Fed and the Treasury to counter the economic weakness of 2020. Uh, the, the economies of the world and the markets of the world were cascading down in March of 2020 when the Fed and Treasury came out with uh, programs in mid-month and, and the Fed strengthens its program in, on March 23rd. Uh, at that point, the market was down about a third, uh, its fastest decline uh, in, uh, in uh, modern era. And, uh, the, however, the programs worked and produced a, a rebound. The S&P ended up the year 18%, and the uh, tech stocks were up much more than that. Um, and uh, the uh, interest rate cut to zero had a profound effect, and it produced uh, a resurrection of risk bearing. Uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, took over from fear of losing money. And, and it, it really led to a very strong demand for uh, security. So that, that's worrisome. Uh, the uh, PE ratio on the S&P is high relative to history. Um, and uh, we see uh, risky behavior ranging from uh, the rapid acceptance of uh, financial innovations such as SPACs, which have uh, taken over the uh, consciousness of many investors to um, uh, the ease of doing IPOs, especially for companies that are unprofitable and uh, uh, and the, the very great performance of those stocks on their first day. And then we have uh, phenomena like GameStop and so forth, which uh, and we have the heavy involvement of retail buying, margin buying um, and uh, option buying. So uh, a lot of these taken together could be signs of, uh, of a bubble. Uh, I, I, but I think that, the, that most asset valuations are reasonable relative to the level of interest rates. The lower interest rates are, uh, the higher the PE is that's warranted. Uh, valuations of all assets are higher when interest rates are lower which means that the demanded rates of return on all assets are lower. So I think that the PE ratios are justified um, and most assets are at equilibrium relative to each other. They just all are priced to produce below history returns. 